Greetings, Zero here, and welcome back to the Liquid Crystal Fairy Pseudomon type. Last time I caught Jirachi, remember my way to the Indigo Plateau. Now it's time to take on the Elite Four. We did a bit more training off screen, not too much, I still want to be kind of fair. Oh, and Elaine cannot learn Earthquake. In fact, none of my team can, that's pretty unfortunate. Oh well. First up is Will. Um. Will? What's wrong with your face? Is there something you want to tell us? Oh, it's just a stupid mask. Okay, well, as you can see, the levels of uh, Will's Pokemon are much higher than they are in Gen 2, where they are basically at level 40 or so. Go away. Okay, so that's kind of easy. Switch over to Morgan now. I could actually just use Mawile again, because it's Steel-type, so it'll be immune to poison. Nice try. You down? Now we take on Bruno, who's a bit better than he was in Gen 1, but that ain't saying much. Also, Hitmontop is frankly pretty dog shit in Generation 2 and 3, actually. Its moveset is terrible. Alright. Now we need to take on Karen. Now, unlike with the previous Pokémon, well, or previous trainers, rather. Um, I don't have a strong matchup against, well, any of the dark types, necessarily. So I'm thinking we're just gonna brute force this. Then an Azumarill, use huge power. And, uh, well, yeah, there's, again, there's jank in this hack. That's not supposed to be there. No, you don't. We are not playing this game. Fine, be that way. Now we're switching. Power up. I'm not gonna take any chances, because I just want something that can knock out even my count doom. There we go. Now comes the toughest trainer. Now there's a couple ways I can approach this. But I'm thinking this time I'm well. It's either, well, no pun intended, you know what? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to try the same strategies as before. Um, oh no, a different one, rather. This is going to be, we're going to try Baton Pass Strats. But first, I might just knock out Gyarados. Or, yeah, I could do that too. Alright, time to pass it on. Morgan, your turn. Max out special attack on a Gardevoir. That's just not fair. No. Oh! Ow. Okay. Okay, I guess I kind of deserve that. But, 
You got revenge kill. You actually managed to knock out one of my Pokemon. Congratulations, Lance. Buzz off, journalists. All right. Mm hmm. And by the way, um, if you were just using save states on your emulator at this point, shortly after this is when you will probably figure out if you've configured your saves correctly or not. Because if you haven't, then you won't be able to save your game and. Indigo Plateau will be where your playthrough will end. So, Togetic, Mawile, Gardevoir, Bramble, Clefable, and Azumarill. There's your Fairy Pseudomon type team. Now, fittingly, considering it's a Zelda fan who made this, it plays, uh, well, Zelda music in the credits. And I guess Silver was watching? Maybe? And it ends up breaking the... Right, I think it breaks one sprite or something. Yep, breaks the running sprite. And that's how you can tell that it's a pre-recorded um, cinematic, as opposed to rendering the maps from memory, because these are show that showed the old version of that route, which isn't actually in this hack. But then again, Peter City. Hmm. No, never mind. Whatever. And now we're getting into the credits of the people who actually made the game. And of course, more of the ROM hackers. And I... well, let's see, should I? No. There's Lavender Town. Still not entirely sure why it is we're running through areas we haven't been through yet, but... Eh, it's the Fire Red Leaf Green cinematic, who cares? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna speed through this. We're coming up on 10 minutes now. Now, I want you to note something that was in there. I mentioned the Orange Islands. Will we go in there eventually? Emphasis on eventually. So now we're back here. In, uh, our hometown. We get a call from Professor Elm. Ah, I wonder what could it be? Now in Gen 2, we know what this is. It's the, uh, that's this, uh, Aqua Ticket. But look who it is! It's Brendan! Yep. You get to fight the Hoenn League Champion now.
And he's actually tougher than Lance is in some ways. Okay, yeah, we're, definitely, we're doing baton pass strats again. Oh, this is that's broken. This is just gonna this is gonna be hilarious. We're gonna just use all the ancient powers and then we're gonna do the baton pass. Alright, prepare to cry, Brendan, because this is gonna suck. Max out special attack plus a bunch of boost to other stats. Good fucking luck. That was just mean of me. I actually kind of feel bad for that. Wow. You did even worse than Lance did. Okay. So now you get the SS ticket. Now to use it. Now we gotta go to All of Mine City. Mm hmm. Now I've arrived at another dreary evening in All of Mine City. And this guy lost his daughter. So, yeah. Now, there's a bunch of stuff we can do on here, but first let's go down here, talk to this sailor, because his uh, crewmate is being a lazy bum. So we need to go and find him. Oh yeah, this is the uh, grandfather stateroom. And you may have noticed I have taught Bramble Thief. That is going to be more useful later. Because there's a bunch of trainers, well, there's a couple of trainers that have leftovers on several of their Pokemon, and I'm going to be able to steal them. Now, the trainers that are on each, they're on the ship each time you, you board are different. I think it's always the same trainers this way and the same trainers the other way. Well, a different set of trainers the other way together. And there's the sailor that went missing. And, of course, you can come in here and rest. Now, every visit except this time, if you sleep, the boat will arrive in port. Okay. So I guess that's that deck taken care of. Same's true of most trash cans in the game. I come over here to the captain's stateroom. They talk to her. And now you get a metal coat. Not the first one you could have gotten, because of course you can get them on, well, Magnemite, you also get one on, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, New Island in the past. I can deposit that real quick, and the silk scarf, and the rare candy. And let's get off this boat, shall we? And here we are in Vermilion City. The weather here is just as miserable as it is in Johto. So, um, I guess 
Let me check the time. Alright, we can go a little longer. So, first things first, let's go in here. We can talk to the chairman. And he tells the same story that he told Red three years ago, and you get a rare candy. Because you already have a bike. Anything in here? Nope. Oh, and unlike in the originals, the building that was being built in Gen 1 actually got finished. We'll go in there later. But we're gonna do... Hold on, is there anything in here? Okay, so... Nothing important. But, there's one thing we can do. We're gonna take on our first Kanto Gym. I'm actually gonna think, hmm. We're not gonna learn Crunch yet. Once I've got enough leftovers from mugging other trainers for him, then I'll get rid of Thief for it. Okay. That's ready. Here is the man of the hour, who can't surge. Let's see if you put up more of a fight than the Elite Four or Brendan did. And he uses his Heart Cold Soul Silver Sprite, because Russell uses a modified version of his Gen 3 one. I'm well aware that you're going to get knocked out. That's fine. Unnecessary loss. Some of you may be knocked out, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Fine, be that way. Dodge this. As usual, Lieutenant Surge is kind of easy. And that's how you get the Thunder Badge. Our first Kanto match. Now let's go back and out our entire team in tow, because we're going to need it. We run into Axel again! Yep, looks like there's trouble going on in Saffron City. But we know where we're going next. Anyways, I'll do it for this time, ladies and gentlemen. You like what you see? Like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will catch you all next time.